Okay, so this is a very special episode of Our Road to Camelot. Mm -hmm. We're sitting in a retro trailer, and hopefully it'll give you a hint. This is a follow-up from last week. And in this episode, we are going to be checking out a bunch of small rigs mm -hmm. right small after this. Small travel trailers. Yeah. All right, hang on. Here we go. All right, so big shout out to Tom's Camperland. And yes, and also to the RV show um, put on by Our, La Mesa. La Mesa RV down here in Phoenix. So we're showing off uh, different styles from those two different locations. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tom's Camperland in Surprise, Arizona. And basically, um, we're gonna check out some of the smaller sizes we always seem to gravitate toward the big boys mm -hmm. but we're going to show you and talk about weights and uh payloads and tow ratios and what you could get away with now and be able to get out there if you want to do weekend warrior or small tiny size like travel week here or there whatever now as yeah. a as a quick reminder too next week we're going to actually see the big boys of 2021 <laughs> So uh, stay tuned yeah. for that one as well. Got some um, big ones coming on, some really nice ones. Yep, and just one more teaser too. The week after that, we are gonna be talking about what to look for when buying a used and even possibly a new rig on what to look out for to yeah. make sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to be working. Pros and cons of both. So let's start looking at some of these rigs. Oh, you got okay. it, I'm having fun. All right, this is let's cool, go. okay. <laughs> Sleeper above, but I well, don't see a bathroom in here. So, oh, there's no bathroom? I do not believe so. Oh, that's not cool. No, there's no, no little potty, in porta potty there, eh? No. This is on the Ram chassis. 2001 Winnebago Solus BUT 59P. Yeah. It has the overhead bunk. This is really kind of cool. Yeah. Refrigerator right here yeah. by the door. So you got a little mini fridge. The it seats four. You got the front four seats. You got the two captain seats back here. Mm -hmm. You've got overhead sleeping. Let's see if you can see that back in there. And I'm sure there was a ladder up there. I couldn't see it from where I was. Pull the door open. I think it's open. over there on the other side. And then you have... And go ahead and open the bathroom. I will if I can. You actually have a pretty large bathroom there. It's not as big as you think. Uh, well, it's but... for a class B. Yeah, for a class B. So you can basically sit on the toilet and take a shower at the same time. <laughs> You've got a sink. And two burner. Two burner. An no extra microwave. bed back here. Those fold up. Some nice storage. Yeah, no microwave, but you got a... Uh, you got a lot of storage. You got the beds will fold up to make a couch back there. Mm -hmm. To make two couches, actually. Facing couches. Some storage. And there is storage all over the place. You do have quite a bit of storage, yes. And what caught Don's attention is the color. <laughs> Take a look from the back. Nice candy apple red. Back doors open up back here too. You have uh, outdoor hose and shower. Nice candy Extra storage. Red. Yeah. So that's a uh, class B that's up on a um, a Ram the Ram van chassis. Very cool. Very cool. Another interesting option for the traveler, and we actually met a woman who was living full time in one of these things. This is a bushwhacker teardrop trailer. When we look inside, there is definitely some storage, not a lot, but you have an electric air conditioner in this thing and radio, speakers, bed. There's also room to be able to put storage on the top with the luggage rack 
and in the back you have a full kitchen that will open up in the back of a teardrop. Pretty basic living, but it can get you around and you can tow it with just about anything. It's kind of halfway between a tent trailer and like a and a teardrop. Yeah, they, it's interesting on the inside. I love this. They have like, it's like a, ba, um, like a ice chest thing, but it's oh, really yeah. neat. I love this. <laughs> oh yeah, everyone needs that. On Everybody needs that. <laughs> well, that is cool. All right, so we've talked a lot about tent trailers in the last episode. And if you've never actually seen inside of one of these things, they do pretty much boast a lot of sleeping capacity. As you're looking inside, we do have a storage compartment and uh, there's a kitchen, a small refrigerator and kitchen and sink. You've got double beds on one side. You have a table and chairs area that folds into more beds and then a huge bed area in the far back. So for a small family that wants to get out of tent camping, this might be the way to go. While we're still looking at the smaller size vehicles, this one is more in the retro style. This is called the Free Solo Romo. And there is a fair amount of storage inside, but if you also look inside, we have table and chairs and a circular couch that will fold down into a bed. There's a refrigerator, air conditioning, bathroom, a shower and toilet, a two burner stove and sink. This is definitely a lightweight trailer that could be towed by almost any vehicle. Another style that is really picking up in the recent years is the resurgence of the truck campers. This is a 2021 Arctic Fox. This and is the nice thing about these is you just can put them on the back of your pickup truck and go from there. This one does actually have a pop out. So you want to take us on an inside tour? Yeah, this what is really cool. Well, first of all, it's really neat. It has a door Ooh. with a window so the doggies can look out. A doggy window. A doggy Yay. Window. So they could actually travel back here. It's like a heavy duty ladder to get Very to the roof easy. and an awning on the back. Wow, check that out. Now, this is really cool. Nice size bathroom. It's all in one, but it is a beautiful size bathroom in here skylight let me get up there okay well it's a sink and shower mm -hmm. that does look pretty tall it's very nice now this is really cool and the, you have a full kitchen you have of course the short girl microwave also nice okay. cupboard space though a yeah. little bit of counter space three three burner stove here and an oven wow nice so this is very very contained You've got some storage here, which is really kind of neat. It's a pullout. Oh, it's locked in right now, but I think. But yeah, yeah it's a pullout for in. stuff here. here. And then another one down here that has some shelves in it, which is nice. Yep. Step up to the to that. Mm -hmm. And decent then, size refrigerator for something that small. This is a really nice um, fridge and freezer. Very nice size for the mm. what it is. Over here. And this bedroom, check out yeah. all of this. You got, you got a TV. Lots of room. TV shelves, these cupboards on yeah. the sides. You've got your ports over here for your any of your electronics. You have a TV over here in this corner. I mentioned it, but I didn't show it. There we go. The sink cool. is really nice. Nice and heavy. Of course, it's a farm sink, which is fine. And all of your uh, electronics. Mm -hmm. Very cool. More storage down here. A little bit, but you have your yeah. water tanks and things down there. So for a cab over, this is absolutely quite This, the, Yeah, this is really nice. You have storage underneath. On the outside, you do have auxiliary shower. And access to your water heater and everything else is satellite ready this is really quite an impressive rig for what it, it is come with a cummings generator this oh there's one. a generator built in. look at that check that out and over here are your specifics on your water that's what i was looking for and all of that so the camper weight this is almost 1600 pounds so that's 1600 pounds and i believe that is just that so you're gonna have to figure out what your uh 
other weight that you got to put in it. Now realize you don't have to worry about a tongue weight on this because it's not a trailer, but you do have to consider payload on your truck. So that 1600 pounds plus everything that you're putting into the trailer, plus you and your passengers and anything else that you're carrying, that is all payload. So add all that up to make sure that the payload of your truck capacity matches all those numbers added together. I would probably put this on a dually. Uh, hard to say. I'd have to do some research. But. We're about to take a look at the Wolf Creek camper. So just to give you a, a comparison, the Arctic Fox was at 1,600 uh, pounds. The Wolf Creek comes in at just a little over 1,000 pounds. So at 1,000 pounds, you probably are going to be able to tow this with... with uh, probably most pickup trucks so there are no pop-outs uh, you do have a heavy-duty ladder taking you to the roof like the other you do have an awning and you do have access auxiliary shower and all the access to all your good stuff including propane on the outside but we take a look at the inside okay you do have a yeah go ahead we get the bench seat but there's also there's also a table that will go the in there. The table's up here on the bed. Table's on the bed. Okay. But here's something interesting I noticed. This oh, that comes down to make a bed. Another little Or bed. cupboards. Mm -hmm. So if you need a cupboard, you got cupboards. You got, well, you got to pull that down and trick yeah. that out. Yeah. So if you need the bed, you lose the cupboards. If you don't need the bed, you got the cupboards. Yeah. Interesting. Now, the one thing about this is this shower is really small. And it's a big step up. Look at it's the big a step big up. It's a big step up, yeah. So, and I'm not but even sure if you can stand up in there. Guy, I don't think I, I, don't think I want to try to stand up in it. Yeah, beautiful skylight. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Who are you waving at? Me. Oh. It's a mirror. Okay. <laughs> um, the sh sink is, or the fridge, fridge is small. And yeah. it has an ice box, more of a yeah small again something perfect for us short girls you know, well once right again it is a much lighter rig and um yeah. i'm guessing a whole lot less expensive as the other now one. it does have short girl microwave three burner stove and the furion oh small oven That's small cool. oven okay so and there's, there's a fair num fair amount of uh, so, storage space in there there is and then you have your, the sink is round, which is kind of cool. That's interesting. Well, different that's anyway. That's interesting. That's different. The bedroom. So, yeah. Nice windows. You do have a lot of windows and a lot of light, which is nice. And so, yeah, you, got, you do have some storage up there. Probably storage under Well, there's here. some in there, but I'm not sure. Yeah, usually the bed will fold out and you'll have storage under the bed. I don't know if that's a whisper quiet, but it's definitely you got a nice air conditioner built into it. Mm -hmm. And it does come with plumbings once again. Yep. So. Ah, it also comes with a generator, okay. which is always nice, especially uh, something like this style you would be doing uh, probably a lot of boondocking and something like that. And you can definitely get away with it with that size of a generator. These are interesting. It's a Palomino. It's a hybrid. You've got like a tent trailer pop-up on the top. And I guess the advantage to that is it gives you more low profile while driving. So you don't have the wind resistance and, and traveling. You do have a lot of the same features on the outside. And this one comes in at a whopping 866 pounds. 866 pounds. So, uh yeah you could throw this on the back of pretty much any truck that has a big enough bed for it so let's take a peek inside it's a little dark in there okay yeah. now we're lighting up okay so, so we definitely have some storage mm -hmm. two burner stove mm -hmm. no oven no oven um you got a refrigerator i can't figure out how it opens oh it doesn't want to open I wouldn't force it. I'm not going to force it. <laughs> it is a Dometic. A Dometic refrigerator. Okay, but this is interesting. Um, Small sink. Yeah, you've got a shower curtain. And it's kind of a shower booth. You remember how they took showers and watching the MASH TV show? Yeah. Well, here it is. 
you have the toilet, you have a shower, and when you close it, your privacy <laughs> is a shower curtain. So be intimately familiar. Oh, there we go. Oh, good shot. Got the free, uh, refrigerator oh, open. So it's got a little freezer drawer to it, a little freezer. Mm -hmm. And a small refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest this would be for a more fair weather. There's no air conditioning. It's a more fair weather type vehicle. Mm -hmm. You do have a fairly good sized bed up here. You do have a, a super fan. <clears throat> and right, that's it. Yeah, so you have, uh, looks like you got a heater. Wait a minute, is there an air conditioning in this? You have a thermostat, but I think it's probably for a heater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see heater vents. I do not see air vents. So air con uh, heater only, no air conditioning. Uh, definitely more of a fair weather type vehicle. You could probably get away with uh, some colder weather climate. This door is interesting. See, as I'm trying to get out, it, really, it is kind of a tight it's entrance. It's a tight entrance. You kind of have to get in. I'm standing on the ground. So. Yeah, so yeah. All right. So it is kind of a tight entrance. But once again, if you're looking for... <laughs> if you're looking for weekend warrior easy to travel with because of low profile and lightweight this could be a direction you want to go in mm -hmm. all right cool i do want to do an honorable mention we've been showing the 2021s mm -hmm. um we're kind of running out of time to actually find a retro dealer in the area but I wanted to show off what the retro trailers are. And they haven't changed a whole lot from year to year. Well, they did come out with the pop-out snail, which is really yeah, good. Yeah, they do. And this one has a pop-out. And uh, we, we ran into one here. It is a 2019. This is a 2019 at Tom's Camperland. Mm -hmm. And just to give you some of the numbers on it, this is 7,380 pounds. So that's actually not bad at all. We'll go ahead and take a look inside. Once again, as usual, you got propane and batteries on the front. So, and we love I, these because it just takes us right back to where we were. And they they use a lot of the wood. They a few years yeah. back, 2019 was I think the first year they added the wood paneling yeah. all the way around to really give you that old retro feel and look. Uh, this one, the bed in the front. Mm -hmm. It has a two burner stove and a microwave, which is nice. Yeah. Small Dometic and the sink. fridge. The sink actually looks, is that porcelain or plastic? It looks like the old style sinks. It is a plastic. Plastic. Okay. I don't know Which, if you want porcelain. You got a heater? Yeah, it would add to the weight. Mm -hmm. Heater, air conditioning. And then your TV and things back here. Some nice storage back here. Oh, very good. Okay. TV. So they don't have a lot of storage per se. But they're fun. And I love they the retro really style in the padding and the seats. Mm -hmm. They take that extra little touch to it. And then, and then the bathroom. We do have a bathroom, and it is a nice size bathroom. Wow, actually. that is pretty big. Yeah. Separate shower. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Medicine cabinet, sink, and toilet. Mm -hmm. And I love the retro black and white tile look on the floor, too. Yeah. That is so cool. And once again, this is one of the, this is a 2019, so it's something to, you know. And it kind of has that feeling of the old style pine cabin. So yeah. You do have places you can hang a few things on either side of the bed. But now to show you, they and are. What's really neat is there's a, a cubby, and on each side of the cubby, you've got some. you got electrical toys. outlet on that one. But over here, on this side, you got USB ports also. Yep. So they are looking at a more modern uh, approach to it as well. Mm -hmm. And yes, one more time, the TV is flat screen. So uh, we are getting uh, modern conveniences, but in the retro feel. Nice covered space nice. here. I like this, somebody obviously did what I usually do <laughs> themselves. Yes. So you do have some nice covered space. Not mm. a lot, but... If, well, you, if you want to go back to your days of camping with your family, 
Back into the 50s, 60s, here you go. All right, so those are the little rigs we're looking at. We're going to end it here today. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll pick it up with the big boys next week. I can't wait. Oh, it's going to be fun. I love the big boys. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to hit that subscription button. And hit that bell to let you know every time we post every Sunday at, at 2 o'clock. Give us a thumbs up for good measure. And hope to see you on the road. Send Safe us travels. those messages, questions. We love hearing from you. Safe travels. Salancha. <laughs>